So let us read and underline most important points in this question. First of all, okay, a taxi charges in a city consist of a fixed charge uh, together with this thing. fixed charge together with the charge for the distance covered. So charge with the distance covered is known as the variable charge, basically. Okay. Okay. Variable charge. Okay. So through this question, I'm going to teach you two type of questions. Okay. So if you have traveled in an auto or in a taxi, yes. Have you traveled? Yes. Yes, no. So what what yes. happens in in auto or taxi? So you start zero, let's say this is one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer, four kilometer, and so on. So there is a fixed charge as soon as you sit in the auto. And that yes. charge is for fixed for one kilometer. Let's yes. say rupees eight. Let's say rupees eight. And after that, every kilometer it is rupees five. Okay. Good. Understood. Yes. So this is one. This is one type of fixed charge and variable charge. In this particular case, we are charging for the first kilometer eight rupees, and rest of the kilometer is at the rate, at the rate five rupees. That means every kilometer it is five rupees. Um, Understood. This thing. So yes. generally, what will happen? It will be like if if somebody has traveled. Let's say ten kilometer. So the charges would be calculated in this manner. For one kilometer, it will be charged separately. For the rest, nine kilometer, no, it will be charged separately. Separately. Yes or no? Okay. Yes. So one kilometer, the charges which we are going to pay is rupees eight. Eight, and over here mm. it would be five multiplied by nine. So mm -hmm. after that you will add. Mm -hmm. So yes. how the equation you will create out of this thing? Let's say you are uh, traveling x kilometer. So what is the yes. fixed charge? And what is the variable charge? charge? Okay. So fixed charge is one kilometer. One kilometer. And uh, variable charge would be uh, for how much what? distance you have covered? Total ten till okay x kilometer total. X. But what is the variable distance? Variable distance will be x minus one. Very good. X minus one kilometer. Yes. And this is rupees eight. And what is this? Rupees eight one nine nine eight seven. Seven, 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 seven. What do you mean by seven? seven. I'm saying fixed charge is rupees eight and variable okay. charge is rupees five. I have taken that example. Five years. Yes, yes. Yes. So how will I write? Okay. Five so multiplied by x minus one. Five so multiplied by okay. Yes. Hmm. So total charges would be y equals to eight plus five x minus five. Minus five. Okay. Understood. Yes. So y equals to five x plus three is my equation. I'm just taking one example over here. Understood. Yes. <clears throat> now, on the similar grounds. On the similar grounds, let us come back to the question now. Mm -hmm. For a distance of ten kilometer, uh, the charges paid is rupees one fifty, and for a journey of fifteen kilometer, the charges is one one five. Did they ever say anything about that? This fixed charges is for how much distance? No. So that means this is actually type number two question. Type number two question is 
this is zero kilometer, one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer, four kilometer. So basically, as soon as you sit in the auto, you have to pay rupees eight. Okay. And whatever distance you cover is additional. Okay. It is like your admission fees. It is like your admission fees. Okay. In your school, what you do, you give admission fees, and at the uh, admission fees means uh, your annual fee. Yes. Yeah. Annual fee you pay in the beginning, and at the same time you pay monthly fee. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Understood. Your annual yeah. fee has to be paid in the beginning of the year. And monthly fee you have to pay every month. Yes, Understood. Yes. I hope it is clear. Yes. Hmm? Yes. So in this particular case, second case. Suppose somebody is traveling 10 kilometer. So fixed is zero kilometer and just by booking the thing you have to pay rupees eight yes or no eight. yes and what is the remaining kilometer remaining kilometer is still 10, 10 kilometer. kilometer understood yes and which would be rupees eight. five multiplied by ten one five okay for booking it. Okay. Yes. See, you can say this is booking charges. Okay. Now it is booking charges. And this is traveling charges. Traveling charges. Understood. Yes. I'm saying these these are the two type of question which can come. This type of question will also come in next exercise. Don't worry, we will study once again. But try to understand whenever, and this type of question is very much important for the exam also, that whenever they talk about fixed and variable charge, they can talk about fixed charge, also include the distance covered for the first kilometer. Normally, it happens like that. But sometimes, mm -hmm. fixed charge is like booking charges, which are non-refundable. Nothing can happen for them. Like, you're not getting anything out of it, but you have to pay it. Just like admission fees. I hope you're getting the point. Yes, sir. I hope you understood yes. this thing. For example, booking mm -hmm. charges are there. Okay. So yes. let us come back to the question now. Let me just erase all of this. Okay. Now. <clears throat> the taxi charges in a city consist of a fixed charge. That means if, if they would have told us fixed charge for one kilometer, I would have taken one kilometer. But they are not talking about anything. That means fixed charge is fixed. You have to pay it okay. as soon as you book it. Okay. Okay. So over here, we are going for 10 kilometer. So 10 kilometer consists of fixed charge and variable charge. Okay. okay. So... Right now, we don't know how much is the fixed charge. So let the fixed charge be Zero. X rupees. No, fixed charge has to be there. We have to calculate. Okay. 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 It is zero kilometer. Hmm. Zero kilometer. But money-wise, hmm. you have to pay. Booking charge is there. Understood? Yes. It is like booking an Ola. You book an Ola and after five minutes, you cancel it. There is a fixed charge to it. Like 50 rupees you have to pay. Make sense? Yes. Because you have booked it. And if you cancel it, you have to bear the charge for that. Anyway. Um, how much distance we are covering? 10 kilometers So variable. It is going to be... One second. Let me go back to... So it is 10 kilometers. Yes. Do we know the what is the variable charge? What is the variable charge? Yes. Do we know? 
Yes. How much? The type of traveling charge. So the How charge much is the paid, traveling charge? Traveling charge is the charge paid is rupees one zero five. So, but that is a total charge paid. Now I'm saying per kilometer how much charge is this? For ten kilometers. Okay. I am asking for what 10... is the charge for per kilometer? Every kilometer, how much is the charge? Hmm. Every kilometer. So for every kilometer x divided by nine. If there is no value given, that means it is y, rupees y. So fixed charge is rupees x, variable charge is rupees y. So mm -hmm. how much money do we have to pay for 10 kilometers? Total 10, 10 kilometers. By 10 by. Yeah, 10 and by. in together, we have to pay 105 rupees. So therefore, my okay. first equation will be x plus 10y equals to 105. Understood? Yes. So let us frame the second equation. Second time we are going for um, 15 kilometer for 105 rupees. Quickly help me with yes. this thing. 15 uh, kilometer and for fixed is 0 kilometer. Yes, yeah, 0 kilometer. And, and variable is 15, 15 kilometer. The charge so How X much charge we are going to pay for 0 kilometer? x rupees x rupees x we so have to pay rupees. and over and here rupees, rupees 15 y is equal to 15 so x plus 15 y equals to 115 so these are the two equations yes uh, kindly use your elimination method or whatever okay to find the values of x and y and after that we have to find out how much we have to pay for 25 kilometers so for 25 okay. kilometer what will be the equation x for what for 25 kilometers so 25y is equal to uh and is equal to after finding out the value of x and y we will use uh -huh. this thing Understood. Oh. Any doubt in this? Okay. No. One of the most important questions which you can expect in your exam. Quickly copy. Okay. Solve this question as a homework. Okay. okay.